Hello guys, welcome. This is Python top tip tutorial. And this tutorial, you're gonna learn about type hinting in Python. Some programming languages have static uh, typing such as C, Java, C++. It means that you need types of variables, parameters, and return values of a function during uh, the definition. Uh, so when you define variable in, uh, in uh, Python, you don't need to uh, define the types of that uh, variable or parameter or function because Python is a dynamic typing programming language. A dynamically typing programming language means that you never have to explicitly define or indicate what kind of types uh, the variable has and what kind of types the function returns. The interpreter going to interpret or uh, determine uh, based on the input of the data and reserve a space in memory. If you input if you use the same variable, for example, x, and you define, uh, you input different inputs uh, for the same variable, ax, the interpreter going to determine both uh, types of data because it is a dynamic typing. Uh, Python uses dynamic typing in which variables, parameters, and return values of a function can be any type. Python's uh, type hints provide you with optional static typing to leverage the best of both static and dynamic typing. So that's why this uh, type hinting comes in handy because we want to leverage static typing, we can use type hinting. Type hinting is a formal solution to statically indicate the type of a value within your Python code. For example, in C++, once you define the type of that variable, you never change the values of the, uh, that variable. But in Python, you can define you can declare any variable or para parameters, but you can input any type of data into that variable. It doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, this type hinting will formally uh, help you to indicate the type of the values that you're going to input into that uh, parameter or uh, variable. That will help to give you hinting. So. Uh, this type hinting was specified in PEP 484. This is a uh, standard of Python programming. You can use, uh, you can read, there are any standard, any styling are available in this. And this type hinting was introduced in Python 3.5 and up. It is not uh, available below 3.5. So uh, generally, dynamic typing makes it easy to program and uh, causes unexpected errors that you can only discover until the program runs. So this type hinting uh, helps you to discover the errors before uh, running your program. For example, you, if you want to input uh, but the type of the data uh, is uh, different than the, 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 the variable or the parameter that's going to accept. So we can uh, pre-indicate the type of that value before going to run the programs. Here is an example of a function that returns values without adding type hinting. His a greeting function that's going to return string that accept a parameter 
name, that name we can actually understand this is a string because uh, we use a pre uh, a descriptive name based on the standard of the PAP uh, to write clean and clean Python code. Uh, you can use one of the uh, step is using descriptive name. So name actually describes that a sequence of characters that is a string in Python. So we can input a string and it's going to return nice to meeting your Siba. Uh, to add type hinting into your parameter and uh, function, here is a general syntax. The parameter and separate by colon and type any type you can use and uh, to indicate the type of, statically indicate the type of that parameter. And this arrow symbol also indicates the type of the function that going to return values. So uh, this is outside of the parenthesis, but before the block of the function. Here is an example of adding type information to a function greeting to, and you annotate the argument saying return values. Uh, greeting to that uh, parameter name and the type of the parameter is string, str means a string in Python, and separate by colon according to the syntax here. And this is uh, indicating that the type of the function that going to return. So this in return is the parameter accepts a string as well as the function returns a string. This is for function, and this one is for <coughs> uh, parameter. So the name colon str uh, indicates that the name argument should be of type string. And uh, this arrow syntax with uh, str is uh, indicates that the greeting to this function uh, will return a string, a string. So we can annotate the parameters by adding type hinting. So uh, I can easily understand that before running this program, this parameter accepts a string and the function going to return a string. So I can easily uh, understand and it helps me to uh, by giving hints of the parameters and the functions that are going to accept what kind of information. Okay, let's click on run test. That's going to return the same result like the above one. Uh, you can also use other built-in types such as int, float, bool, etc. Not only uh, this, you can also uh, use built-in data structures like list, dictionary, um, set, tuple, etc. Uh, for example, if you wanna use uh, this built-in uh, integer and floating, you can use a typing module. This is a built-in module and you can import union that going to union the two data types, integer and floating. So, this function uh, add numbers and return the sum of the two numbers and accept as num1, num2 as an argument. And this uh, argument is take as either integer or floating point. So we can annotate uh, the parameters by adding type hinting. So this is hint, so we cannot, uh, inputs other types a string because we know that uh, this variables accept this parameters accept uh, integer and floating only and it's going to return float or int uh, the function so we can run this function uh, the first parameter accept integer the second parameter accept uh, float and the result would be floating point and uh, you can change any one of 
for example, you can change the values and the output going to be changed as well. So this is the way how you can use type hinting uh, to easily indicate, statically indicate uh, the type of the data, the type of the parameters that the function going to return as well. Here is another example of the function returns a text string into headline by adding proper capitalization in a decorative line. Uh, this is without type hinting a parameter add line is true text and uh, the text accepts text. If a line is true, it's going to return uh, this one, the decorative, and it, it uh, changes the text to title. And also that is false, which means it returns um, title as well as uh, center by adding center uh, uh, in from before and after. A let, uh, for example, the first one is uh, true by default. This is a default argument. Uh, so if you do not pass any va uh, values to the default argument, it takes the default values true. And the second one, uh, align is false. So it takes, it returns the second one, the else part. And this is a decorative way to decorate your text without uh, adding any type hinting. All right, the second one is let's add type hints to the function headline by annotating the arguments and the return values as follows. And I just added uh, text type arguments, the type is string, the align is bool, boolean is true or false, and the default value is true. And the function going to return a string, by annotating the type of the function. If a line is true, then it returns this one. Else a line is false, it returns false. Uh, it look like I uh, look like this. And the second one is false. So I can annotate it by adding type hinting in this function. So this is the way we can statically uh, as well as dynamically indicate uh, the type of parameters and the uh, functions that going to return values in Python. So uh, uh, according to PAP8, uh, I recommend that you use normal rules for columns, as you can see here to separate uh, the parameter and the uh, type. And you can add one space after the colon. That's good. Uh, and uh, you can add a space between uh, this one, assignment and values. And you can use a space, one space after this. That's uh, the styling in PAP8 tells us. Use normal rules for columns that is no space before and one space after a colon, no space before, this no space before, but if you space, uh, I mean, uh, one space after the colon, that's good styling. Use a space around assignment, yeah, both sides, that is, uh, PP styling uh, to write clean code when combining an argument annotation with a default value like a line, one space after colon, and both the space between assignment and value. Use a space around this. You can use a space like this. So this is styling and this is today's lesson about type hinting. So type hinting is one of uh, statically indicating the type of your uh, parameter and the function as well as uh, dynamic uh, typing. So it is best thing you can adding uh, type hinting uh, when you write your Python code. Thanks for watching today.